bought a behemoth. <laughs> um, uh, this is one of two I'm going to buy. Um, I need bookshelf space uh, to store books. And we have VHS tapes we have laying around in boxes everywhere. I want them organized. Because we're and old. We still have VHS. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this was purchased at Canadian Tire here in Canada. It was $159.99 plus tax. Okay, came out to like $180. <laughs> um, that's why there's only one here right now. I will get another one probably next month if they're in stock still. Um, <coughs> because that's the kind of storage I need. Now this is a solder five shelf bookcase. And I went with solder because it's known quality. Okay. And we have two already. We have two other style. Shorter. Um, they're yeah, they're shorter. shorter. They're uh, one, two, three shelf. Four. Four. Four shelf. So, um, this is five, and it's in the um, salt oak finish, and it is sturdy. It's huge. We saw it on display at Canadian Tire right uh, above where the shelf is with all these parcels. So, this thing weighs like a dead body. <laughs> It seriously I think it's does. like 90 pounds. Yeah, it, package weight. Even with the both of us, yeah, it's pretty heavy. It was, it was heavy. <laughs> and it barely fit in our little Toyota Echo, but we got her home. Yeah. With all the doors shut yet. Um, it is 11 and 7 eighths inches deep, um, 36 and 3 quarter inches wide. 200 feet tall. No. I'm and, just kidding. no. <laughs> 71 and a half inches, so it's like up there. Um, it's almost six feet, I think. 5.9 something. We'll find out because I'm 5'9. Do the calculations. <laughs> It'll be standing um, up, don't worry. Anyway, so we are about to assemble this thing. We will not make you look at the whole grueling effort. <laughs> I will speed up the film, but you'll see us assemble this thing and we'll. Um, have a look at it, assembled in the house. Watch and see. Okay, let's get this thing open. It is model 419200, solder, five shelf uh, bookcase. all those bag of stuff. Um, I didn't see any paperwork. No instructions. Oh, that's not handy. All right. Well, uh, it might be wedged between some boards, maybe. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, hang on. Nope. And no. No assembly instructions, guys. Okay. Good thing I thought ahead. Look at this. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Five shelf instructions PDF. <laughs> oh, well, that's why no paper. So you got to download the instructions. Yeah. You need a hammer, a screwdriver, some kerosene, and a match. <laughs> Number two Phillips screwdriver tip showing actual size. Hammer, not actual size. No kidding. <laughs> go big or go home, baby. Skip the power trip this time. So no drill because you can 
over tighten the stuff real easy that way. Okay. There's the, the there's the display. A is one side, B is the other. Oh. Uh, okay. It looks like F. C is the base and the top. D is the middle shelf, so those will all be fixed. That's fake. C, D, and uh, two, two C's and a D. Those are the fixed shelves. F are the um, adjustable shelves. And the uh, molding across the face is all J's. I for the front. That works. Okay. So we need... A and B first to get the sides going. So Thank you. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay guys, we figured out this top portion. Great instructions, not really. Anyways, so well an error. <laughs> um, on the top and bottom shells, the, the, like the very top, the very bottom, C. the C, where you see C written on the board, must face the back of the unit, okay? They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that, of course. And you'll know if you didn't do it right, because... You'll have to undo it. You'll have to undo it like we did. <laughs> so, next step here is we're putting on the top and bottom flashings. Uh, then we're going to be able to stand it up. And then we, gotta re we have to assemble the other shelves. Now, there is something I want to mention, too, uh, about the shelves. Um, when you look at the length of these things here. The moldings. The moldings you'll notice that they're all the exact same length. So there's a little bit on either side of each shelf. So don't try putting the back panels on till after all shelves are installed. Because the shelves do not physically come back out of the unit um, to be able to adjust the height. You have to kind of like move it up, hold it there, pull the pins, put them where you want kind of deal. They don't physically they come back within. out which you will see in the in the end result of this. I'm just warning you ahead of time. <laughs> okay? And make sure you do have a plastic uh, or a rubber mallet. Plastic mallets work great. And of course, we did have to keep the block of wood get, here. Get physical. <laughs> get a little physical with things. Uh, so make sure you got a piece of hardwood would work better because even my plastic mallet made a mess of that much for my guitars. but. At least it's the outside. Anyway, so let's get on with the rest of this. So these uh, little plastic dewies here, guys. Angle brackets. Angle brackets. You put them on flush and you use the back screws. Or, sorry, the black screws. And make sure you do use a screwdriver bit, by the way, that absolutely fits the screws perfectly. Right tool for the job. Because otherwise you are going to make a mess of the screws. And, well, you're going to screw things up, but not in a good way.
This yeah, is this the top, right? Yeah. So. Whoa! Whoa. Better than Canadian Tire can build one. <laughs> yeah, get the idea how tall I'm, it is and how short she is. I'm 5'2". 5'9". <laughs> Seven inches. That's close enough. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Where's my tape measure? Never mind your tape measure. It's close enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, just think, a whole month off, no headaches, and we get to do it again. Okay, I got a little battery. Five. Yeah, that's just shy of six feet. Like five eleven. Okay. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. Wow, that's a behemoth. That's going to hold a lot of books. So, in case it was a little confusing, thirty-five pounds, thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. 50 on the bottom it's on the bottom, bottom remember everything needs to be flush on the top or you'll be fixing that's things like we did a couple times <laughs> <laughs> and that's a real pain especially getting these big long suckers off that was yes. a real nightmare yeah you won't see it no yeah. not much you won't now you just pull a little pull the edge over like that see it disappears oh does it see it's gone <gasps> look at that like look magic that. All right. <laughs> Thanks we're for not it. doing this again. I'm just kidding. Next month, though, we will. We're doing it, but we're not going to video it. Yeah, once is, <laughs> once is enough, eh? Yeah, but at least next month we'll know what we're doing. We can peel the stickers off and manhandle this thing into the other room where it's going to live. And for the manual, do remember to check in between the sandwich of this backboard because that's where it's it is. It's an accordion type thing. Hey, you can punch it for hydro here and put like a light in here. 
<laughs> oh, that was supposed to be on the bottom. Probably. That's okay. We're not using it anyway. We're no, not we're not. Hole, so it doesn't matter. Not, yeah. Okay, so where this little punch out is for the hole for the hydro, that should be at the bottom, guys. So we did make a little boo boo. That's okay. It's not but punched out, so it doesn't it, matter. It's not punched out. We're not punching it out because we're not no. putting lights or nothing in there, so we're all good. We're all good. So we thanks call for the watching. Water cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> um, totally worth the the money I paid for this thing. Um, it is built like a brick house, man. That is. That's that's sturdy stuff. That's solid stuff. That's big. That holds a lot of books. Well, our other solder bookcases, they're over 20 years old, and they're still, like, new. So, But they're not as new. wide as this one. Well, no, they're not as wide or quite as tall, because they're four yeah. shelters. But they're still, solder is good, good stuff. Yeah, it's quality stuff. I am really happy I went with this one rather than the four living. Same size and everything, but the four living shelves wouldn't hold as much. They were the same price, too, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Same price and so why not thicker. go for solder if you're paying the same price and go, go for, for the quality. quality. And this is a lot thicker wood material. And I like this too. finish, the salt oak. That is really, really beautiful. Yeah, and having this on along the front strengthens the shells too. There's a oh, punch out on each a, one. Oh, okay. So we didn't mess each up. One. Hey, cool. And one on the bottom. So we didn't mess so up. So if you need to route cables for like a, a, an alarm clock or whatever, you're gonna put in your shelves. Okay, so the, back panel, so the back panel is idiot proof. You can't mess it up, apparently. No, there's one in each shelf area. So, so, it's, so. Not a, it's not a true Millard shelf after all. Because usually there's something a little weird, but this time nothing. We just got to do the same thing That's next awesome. month. <laughs> Thanks for your help, honey. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, now we got to manhandle it into the other room and load her up with books and things. After you offload the other ones. <laughs> yeah, after I get rid of the space and stuff, yeah. All right, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.